Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela and today's video is going to be a very special video because I am interviewing a private equity associate. It's a topic that a lot of you guys have been interested in. So what better way to learn more about it than someone who is actually working in the industry? I didn't want there to be any reason for this person to make things seem better than it is just for the sake of people from their job not finding out. And so this interview is being conducted offline. You will not see the actual person. I'm going to be using a fake person to show them, but all of the answers are theirs. So let's get into the interview. So firstly, tell me a little bit about your background and how long you've been working in private equity. Two years in investment banking and then one year in private equity in New York City. So why'd you go into private equity? I'd always thought investing was interesting. I actually wanted to go into private equity in the first place and use investment banking as a stepping stone. I also thought that the pay was higher with work-life balance, both of which turned out not to be so true. Interesting. So what would you say are the pros of private equity versus the cons? Well, pros, better work-life balance, more control over your schedule, the work's more interesting, less arbitrary deadlines, and more responsibility. And for cons, I would say more stressful, less hand-holding, as in, if you need help, you need to figure it out on your own versus asking another associate. So what would you say are some of the best moments on your job? Well, there was one time we chartered an entire yacht for just a few people, and there were private chefs and bartenders on board, so I would say the events that we get to partake in are pretty cool. How are your hours? Is there any weekend work? How does that compare with your previous stint in investment banking? Hours are slightly better, maybe a few hours of work on the weekend. There's less waiting around on the weekend for work to come in and you get to choose when you do it if you have certain deadlines so you can basically do your work whenever. It's maybe about three hours or so of work on the weekend, depending on how busy you are. And on the weekdays, you're likely working around 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. with Fridays ending around 7 p.m. So what do you expect your all-in compensation to be for this year? My base is 150k and I would guess around a similar amount in bonus, so around 300k. What would you say are common traits of people you work with and people in this role? The job is pretty insane and the people kind of are too. People are generally very high strung. How much do you like your job on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 being you love it and 1 being you hate it. 3. The job isn't as great as people think it is. The pay is definitely good and so are the perks, but you really don't get very lucrative pay until you are much more senior and that involves many years of grinding it out. Overall, it's a very stressful job and you really feel it on the day to day. The job definitely involves a lot of sacrifices and I'm not sure if it's worth. What are some of the perks that you guys have? There's things like Seamless, Ubers, etc. that just make your day-to-day -day easier. There's also a decent amount of traveling if that's something that you enjoy. I'd probably say I travel around once every two months or so and it's expense meals, first class flights, sometimes even private jets. So what was the recruiting process like for private equity? What did you do to prepare? I did some modeling practice, read up on the industry, 
brushed up my resume and also did a few practice interviews and I met with a ton of recruiters. What tips do you have for people who are also looking to recruit into private equity? Go to recruiters. Ideally, you would do two years of investment banking first and try to reach out to various networks that you have from university, high school, or just people you already know who are in the field who you think might be able to help you. Have you seen people in private equity who didn't have investment banking experience? Yes, but it's more rare. Most do come from investment banking or some do private equity straight out of college. So a lot of people hope to go from investment banking to private equity or just want to go into private equity in general. Would you say that the grass is actually greener on the other side? No, the grass is not greener on the other side. People tend to idealize going into private equity. They think the pay is really high, you have good work-life balance, the work is interesting, but that's not all true. If you've been in investment banking before, it's a little bit like just doing it all over again, but there's a lot less camaraderie because there aren't as many junior people in private equity. They don't hire as many as investment banks do. So do you see yourself staying in private equity or moving on to a different role? I plan on going to a different role. I'm still thinking about exactly what I want to go into next, but I do know that I would like the role to have better work-life balance. Alright, now that concludes the interview, and I hope you did find that insightful. I know some of the responses tended to be a little bit more negative, but again, if you're interested in going into a field like private equity or investment banking, there are a lot of realities of the job that you'll face and I hope the interview showed a little bit more of that side as well. And I just really want to thank the interviewee for being really candid with their responses and I think that's a lot of the point of keeping this person anonymous and that's something that I really want to respect. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you guys want me to do more interviews with people in other fields as well. As always, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye!